question is regarding rapid OHIA death. How can we work together with UH Hilo lab personnel, mainland epigenics researchers, and local researchers to find a way to interfere with the saratocytis fimbriata genetic me mechanisms and find OHIA resistance mechanisms when the UH Hilo lab is restricted and there is no funding and no local specialist? You want the short answer? I don't know. Uh, but rapid OHIA death has crept up as an issue very suddenly and very recently. It's something nobody, the word didn't even exist a year ago. Um, there are very smart people working on this problem. I don't have the solution. I think the state will take it seriously. <clears throat> right now, the focus is on preventing the further spread of it by not allowing transport of OHIA, of, of OHIA products from our island to other places and to try to teach people to not transport them within their own properties and forests. And to, to, you know, we had our feet sprayed with alcohol when we went to kill Albizia a couple of weeks ago. So right now the focus is on containment while uh, the researchers try to find some solution for it, try to understand it better. And to explain, not everybody might know, uh, the ohia trees naturally die on a regular basis, but there's a recent disease that it, it's a ceratocystis, I think it is. It's a fungus that, that infects the wood and it causes the trees to die very rapidly and it spreads very rapidly. And as you may know, ohia is 95% of our remaining native forest. It's hard to imagine what a tragedy it would be if we lost our ohia. So there are people working on it. I personally, this is, this is very close to my heart. I'm someone who believes in native ecosystems that we ought to take care of them. That's the number one priority in my mind. And it, I, so I care about it a lot. Uh, I've, I've talked to some biologists about it, and I think they're working on it. I hope we'll get some state funding. Whether we do or not, the departments working on it do have funding to direct for this, and I think they realize it's important. Is this on the subject here? Prohibit the cutting any OHIA that's, that's just died, because that is how it can be spread through the contamination of your cutting implements. <coughs> People are cutting them right and left, using it for firewood. Yeah. People are milling it down. You've got to prohibit the cutting, period. It's a huge problem, and we haven't begun to address it. <coughs> is there any way to convince Department of Agriculture to provide the prohibition to be intra-island as well as intra-island? Most of the Ohio forest is on this island, and it's not widespread at this point in time. And if we had a, a prohibition against spreading it, like we once did for bananas, then perhaps we could keep it from getting all the way around the island. That's a great idea. I think we should ask them for that. Well, we asked for it, and they ignored That's it. That's the kind of thing they can do where they don't need a law to do that. They can just administratively rule that. I think that's a wonderful idea. Thank you, Eric. That's a great idea. People are working on it, and this is the first year there's been awareness of it, I think. And so I, I will try, as with many of these other issues, to try to convince our state legislature that this is not a Pune problem, this is a Hawaii problem, and therefore we should address it. My repeated theme there has been, you guys have to stop ignoring things just because they show up on the big island. Cokey frogs, fire ants, et cetera, et cetera. There's a tendency to think that's a big island problem. We don't care. But when fire ants might show up on Waikiki Beach, they care a lot. And, but, there, and there's, but the time to have stopped fire ants was when they first showed up here, to, to hit them full on at the very first infestations. It's going to be very hard to keep them off Oahu now. And the exact same thing is going to happen with the rat lungworm, Ohia death, and anything else you care to name.